Cheyenne Knights had a terrific first half of the season. Here's her second to the fifth. She's been so close, what seems like so many times, including Wilshire gets a fortunate bounce here at the fifth. Looking at some of the highlights from earlier in her professional debut. How about the start today for Rose Zhang? Got off to a really good start with two birdies already and then pours this one in. With Minji Lee, that would take Knight to eight under par. How about India's Aditi Ashok? She's played great all over the world, her third at eight. She has a win on the L.E.T. earlier this season, looking for her first win. She would roll that in to get to nine under and take the lead. Back to Zhang, her third at that eighth. Talk about a player looking for their first win. How about in their professional debut? Hasn't happened. That would take her to 10 under par and give her the outright lead. But just seconds ago, a shook for birdie at 10. And Aditi Ashuk so close to winning a medal. The way that she has handled herself with everything that has been going on outside of the ropes the last week and a half to two weeks has been really, really impressive. That's the final group. Get you over to the par three 14th. Not the easiest green to hit, even for a shortish par three and a Nordquist. We've seen her make a few from off the green with a putter. Her speed control is usually pretty spot on. Bogey free so far today. After a four under par 32 on the front. You can see the hoodies and the long sleeves. It is a bit chilly. This is young Gianna Clement, number one in the AJGA rankings. Really talented young player with a lot of spunk. She's fun to watch. Obviously, a lot of game as well. And again, they're playing the modified Stableford scoring system. You get two points for a par, three points for a birdie. It's a moment ago, the 17th, Ashlyn Kaur. Is she going to give us a little highlight here? Yes, well done. Playing alongside Danielle Kang it gives her a... Wouldn't bet against her getting an invite, would you? From Golf Canada. Our friend Lawrence Applebaum might be watching now, looking at uh, potential sponsor invites for his great championship. I'm not so sure they needed to play stable foot. The scoring from the junior golfers, good save there for four, has been so good that they could have played stroke play, in my opinion. She's tied with the DT Ashuk. Here is a DT going with putter, it looks like, from off the green. Some of these aprons around Liberty National are so thin and tight lies. You could see she had very little green to work with. Felt like putter was her best option. Aditi Ashuk at the par 4 12th to stay tied for the lead. She's always been a good putter, Morgan. I'm going to go and chip this one. I, mean, I think you're going to get a bit of spin from this, this tight lie. There you go. a perfect hybrid between Jin Young Ko and Lydia Ko. She has all those elements to her game. And the most impressive of them all, Karen, is the intangible, her mental game. Back at the 13th in the DTS shock, just short of the green here. It's a birdie, technically. Over the ridge there and then down to the hole, but didn't quite have enough speed coming over that ridge. You know, people don't really think about that. So she spends a lot of time here, weeks off. You know, she'll she'll often uh, stay somewhere. And people that her and her father, who carries her, have met, um, may look after them. And contact was good. There's a backstop there. Yeah, there's a pretty steep backstop. Doesn't have too much speed. Oh no, yeah. it's gone over it. Just can't control it out of that lie, Karen. What a week it could be for Aditi. What a place for it to happen if it happens here, Morgan. Well, she played so well just down the road at Founders Cup. 
this is a very different style golf course. If you look at Wilshire, just keep knocking on the door. It's going to happen. She keeps putting herself in that position. Par putt here for Rose. Yeah, good two putt in the end. Oh, and she's using a seven iron today. Whole plane, 137, but it is back into the wind and off the right. And this is a fade into that wind. Wow. I mean, are we surprised? Best of the day. Aditi from the bunker at the 15th. Yeah, flew it all the way there to try and use the backstop. You know, something that we don't see at all out here on the LPG Tour, and it's uh, very interesting to see how it all, how it's all flat panning out for her. Now live with the DJ Shook for her par. So that pulled second shot is going to be costly for Aditi. Second shot here for Rose. Wind off the right, Karen. It sure is, but really sheltered by the trees that are to the right, but expect the ball to move left once it gets in the air. This is a seven iron. Oh, flagging it. This is just majestic stuff. Right here is Aditi. We saw her go with less than driver, and how tough is this one? Awkward stance. You can see the ball well below her feet. Really well done to get it there. Will it stay on the top level? Some of the green of the bunker is. Oh. Oh. We had a good look there. It looked like maybe pushed that just a hair from where she was lined up and how she was looking. She says she she doesn't think you can do it remotely. It's just she got to be there. Aditi is shook to get that shot back she just lost. Frustrating. These two holes. This would feel like giving up a shot to the field as well. It was noteworthy, though, to see her hit three wood off the tee. I don't see a weakness, Karen. No, there really isn't one. With this club, there should be plenty to carry the green. This is on a really good line. Really good. I mean, is it perfect? A little backstop there. Wow, what a shot. She's only missed four fairways this week. This is going to count as a fifth, as a missed fairway, <laughs> which is a bit odd. Yeah. But what a shot. T to green. You know, when she's on, there's nobody better. Aditi Ashok second at the 17th. A little out of position off the T. Yeah. That's there are a few humps and bumps in this green. That's going to leave her a bit of work to do. I mean, and it's, you know, you're in, in this position. I mean, it's a gutsy play to take driver out and go for this green and pull it off. Oh. Just a push. Never had that online on the line with it. She had a on her ball as we could see from our camera angle she really takes an aggressive pass with her irons creates good compression some good height on her irons oh, is yeah. that gonna catch that ridge k and get a little Trying. closer it's like catching yeah. a little wave you know yeah that's done well as I say, it's a very small target, the front of that green. That's a lovely shot there. Back into a little breeze off the left. Yeah, just stay there. Yep, just giving herself a chance. It's, gonna it's be quite fast, Tom. Huh? Yeah, back down the hill. Third shot at the 18th for Aditi. Electing to use the putter again. She's used this a good bit today from the fringe. That's very quick now. It's just an excitement that you can't wait to get to the ball to just have another opportunity to hit another quality shot. This is from 168, and you can just see by the fact that she had to pull a head cover off. It's playing long, and this is fading. Trying to saw off her finish there. Almost a three-quarter punch.